Hey everyone, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your camera not working on your iPhone, whether it's your front camera or the back camera. You want to follow these steps, so let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do if the camera isn't working is if you have the camera app open like this, simply swipe up or click on the home button and then close out, force it to close out and then simply reopen it. It might be simple as doing that and your camera is working again. Now let's say it's still not working. The next thing to do is go ahead and clean out your camera lenses. So if the front isn't working, you can take a microfiber cloth like this, just simply wipe it down to make sure there's no dust or debris that could be interfering with the camera. Same with the back here. Sometimes over time they can build up and get dirty and that might be the reason why the camera is black or it's not picking up. Again, just take a microfiber cloth and gently clean it as well. Now another thing to consider is that if you put a new case on, maybe that case is blocking either the front camera or the back camera, remove the case and see that helps. If you were using any sort of lens cover, sometimes those things can also interfere with the camera. I recommend removing it, especially if it got damaged or if it's a new one that you put on and you're suddenly realizing the camera isn't working. Also, if you have a screen protector for the front camera, sometimes screen protectors can also block that front camera that's on the screen. So you want to remove it if it's a new one or if it's a damaged one, of course, replace it as well. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do if the camera isn't working is follow this step here. We're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. And this is known as a force restart, which will help fix any software related issue causing maybe your iPhone to not work the way it should. As you can see, I'm pressing and holding on to the side button until I can get the Apple logo to appear. Then I let go of that side button again. That was pressing and release the volume up, volume down one after another before holding on to the side button. And you might need to do this a few times to get the hang of it. Again, completely safe, will not delete any of your personal data like your photos, videos, apps, everything will be on your phone, but it's an important step to do if the camera simply isn't working. Now after you have done that and still not working, another thing to consider is that if your iPhone is overheating or in extreme cold weather, it might not launch the camera correctly. In that case, if it's extremely hot, let it cool down before you use the camera, and if it's extremely cold, warm it up a little bit some more before using your camera. And then from there on, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone. And the next thing you want to check out is that this is going to be if you happen to have a restriction on. So in the screen time here, we're going to go to content and restriction and turn this setting on. If you have this setting on, just simply turn it off. And the reason why that is that you might have a restriction for the camera where you are not allowed to use the camera with any of this restriction going on. So I recommend turning that restriction off and see if camera is working for you. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing to do is going to be if it's specific to an app. Maybe the camera works as is. It's not working on an app that you want to use like Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever it is. In that case, you need to verify that the app has access by going into your settings. And from there on, we're going to click on privacy and security. And from there, our option here, we're going to look for camera and then turn it on. So if let's say Snapchat was turned off and you're trying to use your camera, it's not going to work because it doesn't have access to it. So we need to turn that setting on or any apps that has any of that issue. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is go ahead and update the phone software in the settings. You're going to go to general software update and check if there's an update available. If there is, it's going to show up here with the update button and you want to go ahead and update it as well. So from time to time, it's good to go ahead and update your phone, especially if you're having issues. So we're going to go ahead and check again. Sometimes the update takes time. Make sure you're connected to the internet and look to see if you get that update here. This one is taking a little bit, but you should see an update button once it's ready. Now, even after if you update it and it's not working, the next thing to do is in the settings here, go to general. Go all the way down here, it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset. We need to do a reset of all settings. Now, this is resetting only all the settings. None of your data, like photos, videos, apps, will be removed or deleted. It's going to set reset things like network related settings, keyboard, dictionary settings, home screen layout, and location and privacy settings. Again, it's an important step to do if camera simply isn't working for you. Lastly, if you're still having issues with the camera, I recommend is testing it out with another app like FaceTime. So as you know, well, FaceTime also has a camera. So once you launch FaceTime, right, it should see if you FaceTime someone, your camera should work. And if it does, that means, again, your camera is functional. 
or another app like Snapchat or Instagram. If the camera is working there and it's not working on your phone, that means it's probably a software issue. In that case, you want to consider backing up your phone, doing a factory reset and restoring it again. That's another whole process which we explain in another video. You want to check that out. Basically, that will help any software related issue as well. Now, if you did all of that step and you simply can't get the camera to work, most likely it is defective. In that case, it has to get replaced. We would recommend taking it to Apple authorized uh, repair shop where they can take a look at it as well. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.